Hey, what's up YouTube? Lightsaber Samurai here. Uh, we're just going to get into the next mission here, which is uh, the Droid Recovery. So basically in this mission, uh, while you were this should be a total blue freeing the... But it'll I mean, give you while a you were working with Chewbacca in the last skills. mission, Kyle Katara was to chilling in the bars and overheard them talking about the cult. So I'm going to take my long range weapon on this again. And so uh, apparently the cult got a hold of a droid that was important to them. And so we are going to recover that droid from the Jawas. Jawas, never around when you need them tracks. Maybe they've already come and gone. Go see if you can find their sand crawler. They might have stopped in that canyon. I'll talk to the moisture farmers, see if they know anything about this cult. All right. Don't worry. Jawas are pretty friendly. Yes, here we go. So, want to make contact with the Jawas and of course, since they're around this corner, there's a group of them now. Ah, yes. A bunch of shitty Tuscan Raiders. What is he doing? He's gonna molest that Jawa there. Yeah, this is what I wanted the long range room for. These assholes. I'm gonna perch up here and snipe at you. Scope in on them, damn it. They keep shooting me, interrupting my scope action. There we go. Can I get him? Okay, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Okay, moving on. Don't be scared, fellas. So I, I'm watching this game, and in particular, looking at the lightsaber combat. I was curious, uh, there's a book, uh, a couple of books with Jaden Core, and they kind of flesh out his story. And I'm not sure if they ever explain which lightsaber form he uses. Of course, I'm playing as a, a girl in this version of Jaden Core, but the same character, uh, Katarn's Apprentice. Uh, I was kind of wondering what style, if they were modeling after a certain style. I know there are actually certain moves, you know, from the seven forms that you can pull off. Uh, especially once I unlock the other two single-bladed styles, so it kind of makes me think that, uh, I don't know, like all styles seem to be represented to some degree or another. But one thing that's interesting is you can switch, there's a, uh, a medium style, which is the default that I'm using now, they have a fast style and a heavy style. And one thing that makes me think of is the, uh, of course, in the Legends canon, uh, when the new Jedi Order starts, they make innovations to lightsaber combat. And one of the things they do, uh, the first battle master of the new Order, Cam Solazar, he invents the three rings of defense. Uh, which is basically, uh, a lot of people describe it as a more advanced version of Shi Cho. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, in this game, uh, Jaden Core hacks through multiple Tusken Raiders in this mission, multiple stormtroopers. Even uh, multiple lightsaber wielding foes at times, so uh, I think that's a pretty fair assessment. Uh, but like, I'll point out some moves they use. They take a lot of things from Shicho. They take things from Jem So, Ataru. Uh, they just uh, even uh, Niman. A lot of things, which makes me makes me think maybe it's Niman that they really practice. So I don't know. But I think that's cool. It give you kind of like a jack of all trades fighting style in these games. Whereas, uh, say, The Force Unleashed, again, I compare it to that. This is what these games remind me of the most. Uh, this and uh, what was the other one? Um, oh, uh, Star Wars Revenge of the, the Sith on the Xbox and the PS2. Kind of like a hack and slash Jedi game. And of course, in the Force Unleashed with Star Killer, he was clearly, you know, Sheen slash Ataru mm. all the way now. The acrobatics, the of course, he incorporated Force powers heavily in his style too, which kind of points toward Nimon. But uh, I mean, he rocked the reverse grip. I mean, he was heavily 
Sheehan style. Oh, look at that. Three at a time. Got the trifecta. That was nice. In this game, we're on a 360. That might have even been an achievement. <laughs> they make that <laughs> yeah that was that bastard I think there was sniping at me earlier so he didn't die yeah this is where he was at he didn't die he just posted up over there so that's what you get is cool unless they show a little you know a little damage like that you can actually take people's heads off take arms off take a leg off every once in a while which is interesting I don't think that type of destruction they would actually like be able to pull off on the PS2 um, with a game like this it's interesting that a game like this probably wouldn't even be possible without the hard drive so I really like the original Xbox. I mean, I'm a die-hard PlayStation fan, don't get me wrong. Uh, of my collection, I mean, about two-thirds of it are my PS1, 2, and 3 games uh, that cover my collection. There's a sand crawler. Are these even the right Jawas? These little guys. All right, I'm going to do it. Come here. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was totally wrong. I shouldn't have choked him out like that, but... That was one thing I liked about the Force Unleashed, though. Like, how he could... The, the, but that was better, though. Like, he grabs him and then punts him like a soccer ball. Like... That was the shit. And there's a move from the Force Unleashed. You can choke him and then throw the lightsaber at him. <laughs> Hey, stop being so good. Yeah, there's that dead body. Alright, back in the game. And even the, uh, the projectile deflection here is very, uh, very Cerisu in the method. This is kind of, you know, bats on the side harmlessly. As that skill increases, it'll take more of a Shien type tone, and you'll actually uh, spit projectiles right back at the attacker. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I was 
That's a move I don't use often, Drain, but I like it. Drain and Dark Rage. And Dark Rage is kind of like a, a damage boost and force speed at the same time. Hmm. Need to reactivate the lift. at the top. I was gonna try to shoot them. Let's get them like this. Sorry, I was trying to use my force abilities to get out with the, with the icon still up there. You can't use your powers. That's a weird thing about that game. How do I get down there? So the third iteration is very powerful. Like I said, it makes you way faster because it slows down the world around you. You know, so it makes you faster, like force speed. But uh, you're invincible when you're dark raging. You cannot die, which is cool. Sorry, I hope my quality is a dip, and I need to get actually close to the mic so I can speak here. Okay, heal that up. Okay, I think I'm getting close to the end here. This is kind of difficult, scrapping them all up here in an enclosed area. Do these Joas have? Ciao. Right. Fire superiority here. Somewhere. Ah, oh, there we go. South away. We're good to go. You must be the droid we were sent for. But it doesn't look like there are any Jawas left to negotiate with. I guess you better just follow me. I'm gonna just go ahead and lighten them up. We'll, we'll take them all. 
took that shot. Shit, I just gonna hit the joy then let me yeah, let me move this over here. Cause I think you can't fail the mission if you accidentally destroy that guy. Oh, nice finish. I was starting to get worried. Any problems? Well, not unless you count the sand people I ran into. Well, you're still in one piece, so you must have handled yourself all right. Let's get this droid back to the Academy. Good work, Jaden. Kyle tells me you recovered the droid on your own. It's too bad about the Jawas. R2 will scour the droid's memory banks and see what information it turns up. I have some troubling news. While Kyle and I attended to the crash shuttle, someone broke into my quarters and sliced into my records. R2 is trying to figure out what they may be looking for. Awesome. Can uh, okay, we get a little another cutscene here? So, how's your training going? I've been sent on a few errands, nothing exciting. Same here. I guess that's just how the training works. I thought it was just me. Ever wonder if your master is holding you back? You know, oh making sure you don't become too powerful? <laughs> Why would you say that? Well, Kyle doesn't seem to really foster my talents. I've gone on a couple of missions with him, but doesn't let me do any of the really important stuff. Hmm. Maybe he's observing you. You know, seeing how you accomplish your missions. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm not so sure. What do you think, Jaden? Recognize Jean? that voice well, actor. That's Cam Clark right there. there. Did I interrupt something? It's Liquid Snake. <laughs> no, not at all. Well, I'm ready. Let's go. Oh my God, Rosh Pennon is—he's such a troll. Like. I would love to shove a lightsaber up his ass. Anyway, that's going to do it uh, for that mission. Uh, I'm Lightsaber Samurai. We'll see you next time where we hand out some emergency assistance. So be back soon, guys.